Hey guys, Carell Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So the baseball hot stove is heating up. Uh, a lot of rumors out there, a lot of potential deals being talked about. And what I wanted to do in this post was give you guys my thoughts on a few things that I've been reading. First up is Luis Castillo. It's being reported in a number of different places that the Mets are doing what they can to try to move Castillo earlier this week. Um, there was some talk about him possibly going to Toronto in exchange for uh, Lyle Overbay. Uh, my thoughts on Castillo, and I've said this before, that you know, even though he had an excellent season, I think this is a great time for the Mets to try to move him and his bad contract. Um, you know, I hope that the Mets can get something decent in return for Castillo if they can move him. But at the end of the day, if moving Castillo allows the Mets to sign Orlando Hudson, I'm all for moving him. Um, but I, I want to make sure that, you know, and from my standpoint that, you know, the Mets do get Orlando Hudson, um, you know, to play second base if they move Castillo. So let's see what happens. But if the Mets can move Castillo and then sign Hudson, I'm all for that. Those of you who watch my videos on a regular basis know that, um, in my opinion, the best option for the Mets this offseason or the best uh, move that they can make um, in terms of left field this offseason would be to get um, someone like Carl Crawford. Now, I was hoping that the Rays wouldn't pick up Crawford's option and that he would hit the free agency market, but the Rays did pick up his option. Um, but to me, that doesn't mean that Crawford still isn't available. What that means to me is that the Rays didn't want to let him go and not get anything back in return. So even though they picked up his option for $10 million and they have him on the team for at least one more year, if I'm uh, the Mets general manager, Omar Minaya, I still give Tampa Bay a call and, and throw some feelers out there to see what it would take to possibly trade for Carl Crawford. Because even though, you know, Holiday's on the market, Bay's on the market, and there are other left fielders out there, if the Mets could land Carl Crawford, he would be their best option for left field. And last but not least, Xavier Nady. Over at Metsmerized Online last night, I um, responded to a blog post and I mentioned that you know, I would be open if the Mets brought. I would be open to the Mets bringing back uh, Xavier Nady if they could get him for um, a really good deal and possibly try him out as the fourth or fifth outfielder. And some actually, some people actually responded to my comments and said possibly maybe even first base, which I didn't even think about, which is good, which is a good thought. So I wanted to kind of throw that out there to you guys and get your thoughts on Xavier Nady. I mean, when he was here with the Mets, he was. Uh, a fan favorite. Um, he played hard. You know, what are your thoughts if he's healthy on bringing him back to the Mets? Again, not for a lot of money, for, for small money, um, and not for a starting position. You know, at best, fourth or fifth outfielder, or maybe he's even the platoon guy with Daniel Murphy at first base. So I'd love to get your thoughts on that, guys. So those are my thoughts on Luis Castillo, Carl Crawford, and Xavier Nady. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you soon.